All right, everyone, welcome to the channel. Uh, this time we're going to talk about uh, tuning and data logging uh, when you're using a, a uh, email tuner to uh, do your tuning. But of course, let's start off with a cold start. All right, everyone, you saw it in the thumbnail, you saw it in the title. We're gonna talk about tuning uh, and the process to tune your car. So I have Diablo Sport Trinity 2, uh, which is a touch screen thing. Uh, you know, these same concepts go for, you know, whichever tuner you're using, either Diablo Sport or uh, uh, HP tuners. Uh, and it goes for any, uh, any other Diablo Sport, whether you're using an i3, or you're using the T2. Uh, the really big difference is uh, the i3 is not a touchscreen. Uh, it's a, a menu menu based one. Uh, so it may take you a little bit longer to get it set up, but once it's set up, uh, it's pretty much automatic. So let's get right into it and set up your, uh, set up your tuner. All right, everyone, so the stuff you're gonna need, you're gonna need your laptop, your USB cable, and your tuner, unless you're doing HP uh, HP tuners. You can just download the most up-to-date software uh, from HP tuners website. But if you have a, a Diablo Sport, either i3 or T2, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is turn on your laptop, go to diablosport.com, uh, come over to downloads and then you're going to want to go down to uh, the update agent at formerly called ignition and you're going to want to download uh, the update in, uh, update agent okay so then once you do that you can close that close out you can install the software which I already have installed right here you're going to want to connect uh, your USB cable to your laptop and then you're going to want to connect your tuner whichever one it is either Diablo um, the T2 which I have the T2 or the T3 uh, let me pause this and uh, I'll be right back all right, once you do that, your computer is going to ask you what you want to do uh, when this pops up. I already have mine set up. It's going to come up in the file folder view, uh, which is going to become important when we talk about logging and sending logs. So once you get your, your tuner plugged up into your computer, you want to go ahead and do the uh, hit the update agent. So there's the T2 coming up in the file folder. And what it'll do is it'll check for your device and it'll tell you there's updates. See, I haven't updated mine in a while. So uh, there are updates. So you just click yes. It'll download the files. And this may take a minute or two depending on how fast your internet is. And then what it'll do is it'll tell you that you're uh, it's going to your tuner and your tuner will uh, you know do a percentage thing probably multiple times uh, for the different updates uh, for your, your your specific tuner whether it's an i3 or a, uh, the t2 so you just let that finish and then once this finishes it will uh, it will tell you on your computer that it's done And then 
we can move on to uh, the logging part. So I'm not going to bore you holding this thing for the uh, the entire time. It may take a minute or two. All right, everyone, we're back out in the car. And now what you got to do is plug in uh, your uh, T2 i3 HP tuners or whatever, whatever one you're using. Now you got to put in what's called the parameter IDs or PIDs uh, that your tuner wants you to log. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So let me see if I can do this. Uh, let me get let me get my tuner hooked up, and then I'll show you how to do it. All right. So what I'm going to do is I got a picture of the PIDs that Jay Green uh, wanted me to log for my car, and I will put them up right here right now. Okay. So what you're going to do is when your Trinity comes up, you're going to go into gauges and logging. And it's going to take a few minutes to uh, read your vehicle and your PIDs from your vehicle. And once it comes up, it's going to come up in this grid format with a whole bunch of PIDs in there. So all you're going to do is once it comes up, you're going to hit one of those grids. It's going to give you options to choose from. You're just going to go through those options. Uh, until you find the PID that's in the uh, in the list, it's right over here. And then uh, from there, you just go one one after the next. So now it's starting. So up in my left hand corner here, I have ambient temperature. All right, that's one of the uh, one of the parameters over here that Jay wanted me to log. All right, so when you get your gauges to pop up, you just double tap. And now this will load the gauge editor. Once the gauge editor comes up, you just look through uh, the, the different PIDs, uh, depending on where you're at. You can go through these groups and go back. Just go down until you find, uh, find the parameter that you're looking for. I'm not gonna change mine. Uh, once you find that parameter, you just click it and then hit save. And then it'll go back to load your gauges. Your gauges will pop back up and ambient temperature will be up in the uh, the top left hand corner which again is on the list that Jay Green uh, wanted me to log all right and your ga gauges pop back up and you just go through each each little gauge there uh, until you get all of the parameters in once you get all of those in, then you're ready to go out and log. All right, folks, hopefully you guys can see this. Uh, this portion, we're gonna talk about data logging. Data logging with the, uh, the T2 is pretty easy. It's all touch screen. You just pull down from the top, hit the record button. It'll say recording, the red light will come on. Uh, that means you're logging. So all the uh, PIDs you put into, uh, into your T2 are now recording. You can see them here. These are all the different PIDs that are being recorded. Uh, and again, those are, those are uh, prescribed by your tuner. Uh, they all look at some things a little bit different. Uh, so make sure you get all the PIDs from your tuner uh, and get them into your T2. All right. Once you do your pull, once you do your idle, once you do you know your cruise, or whatever the case may be, just come back up, pull back down, hit that stop button. Once you hit that stop button, it's gonna ask you if you wanna save the log. Uh, you will go ahead and hit yes. Uh, and then you can rename it to whatever you want, and then hit save. And that's it for logging, and I'll show you how to email that to your tuner next. All right, so I just showed you how to uh, to log on your T2. Uh, like I said, the i3 is fairly similar, and for HP tuners, you're going to log directly on your laptop. Uh, but for uh, the i3 and the T2, once you hook it up to your computer, 
again, like I said in the last, uh, the last step, uh, it'll come up in the fire folder file, file view. Uh, you just go into logs. There's the log we did. Uh, what I do is I typically dra just drag it and drop it to my desktop. And then from there, you just pull up your email, attach that log to your email, uh, and send it to your tuner. And you may have several logs depending on how many your tuner wants. You know, they may want an idle, a three-quarter pull, a wide open throttle, uh, cruise at like 60, 65 miles an hour for a couple minutes. Depending on what your tuner wants, uh, he'll tell you what logs to do. And just when you get those logs done, uh, again, I just drag them quickly to my desktop and then I uh, attach them to an email and send them to your tuner. Uh, from there, uh, the tuner will look at the logs, see what your car is doing, see what it needs, what it doesn't need, uh, and then they will send you back a tune. Uh, we'll get to that next. All right, so I use Gmail. Uh, so typically, here's what a log will look like. Uh, mine's coming from Jay Green. Again, I just quickly uh, drag and drop the tune onto my desktop. I will shrink this and you'll have to go back to the top folder of your T2 or your I3. Right? Once you're back into this view, all you do is you take the tune, drag it over, drop it. Uh, you'll see it come into the folder and then it'll disappear. And it'll say your custom tune, uh, you know, and the name of it has been loaded. Hit continue. It'll close out and it'll come back up. And then your tune is now in your tuner. The next step is take your tuner out to your car and install the tune. So let's do that now. All right, everyone, uh, you went out. You did your, your initial logs, you sent them to your tuner, he sent you a tune, we showed you how to load it up on the T2 and the I3, uh, basic, basically the same process. Uh, once it's loaded up, you come out, plug it into the car, you come in, you go into tuning. It'll gather some information from your vehicle. From there, you go into custom tuning. Then you're gonna install tune. Now I have multiple tunes already in here, so I'm gonna go down to the one we up, one we uploaded, which is right here. You click the tune you want. It's gonna uh, ask you for a uh, transmission tune. Uh, you can just either, if you have a transmission tune, go ahead and do that. Um, if you already have one installed or not installing one, just skip that module. And then it'll grab custom customization data from your car. And it's going to say, would you like to install as is and change? Uh, you're going to want to hit, click install. And then it's going to ask you one more time. These changes are going to be applied to your vehicle. Are you sure you want to do this? And then you hit accept and install. And then all you do is follow, I'm not going to install this one because uh, I don't want to go back through and reinstall my other tune. But um, accept and install, run through the process. Uh, it'll tell you to turn your car in the run position and the off position in the run position, back in the off position. Uh, you're going to do that several times uh, and then it'll tell you your car is tuned. Uh, so once your car is tuned, what you're going to do is you're going to go back uh, back to the logging step you're gonna go back you're gonna do some logs whatever logs that your tuner wants you to do uh, do those logs and just repeat the process until your car is dialed in um, you know this could take you know five ten tunes it could take 15 20 tunes um, you know initially Jay and I we probably went through you know 15 to 20 tunes uh, before we got the car um, running pretty well um, and then of course uh, I went and started modding and buying other stuff so uh, more and more upgrades 
more and more logging, more and more tuning. Um, so don't be discouraged if it takes you uh, a few tunes from your tuner, especially email tuner, uh, to get your car dialed in. Um, it's, it's, it is a little bit different than dyno tuning. You know, dyno tuning, you take your car there, they tune it. After the dyno, you're done. Um, but, you know, there's some, you know, advantages and disadvantages of both, right? So the advantages of dyno tuning, you're, you get there, they tune it, you're done. Um, but I would argue sometimes there is some after things you need to do from a dyno tune too. You may have to, you know, go do, do some street logging, uh, send back to that tuner so he can update your tune depending on how your car runs on the street, vice is how it runs on the dyno. But uh, email tuning does it is a little different, right? So a lot of it is on you. Um, if you don't do your logging and send it to your tuner, don't blame your tuner. That's not your tuner's fault. That's your fault for not doing what you're supposed to do. Uh, so as long as you do what you're supposed to do, your tuner's going to do what he's supposed to do. Um, and get your car dialed in and get it, get it running right. And, you know, that's going to do it for this one. That's going to wrap it up. Um, so again, email tune, dyno tune, you're still probably going to have to do some logs and sending them off and get some, some updated tunes. But uh, just a quick video on how to, uh, how to tune your car from the beginning. And like I said, that's going to do it for this one. So if you're stopping in for the first time, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button so you get notifications when I upload new content. And we'll see you next time.